We welcome you into CBS Sports HQ. We've got breaking news. Trey Young, who was listed as questionable, is now active, expected to play tonight in the do or die game six for the Atlanta Hawks in the Eastern Conference Finals. Trey, of course, has missed the past two games with a bruised bone in his foot. Again, Trey Young active tonight in Atlanta. And joining us now is Avery Johnson. Avery, obviously big boost for the Hawks and their fans. What's your reaction? Uh, just excited uh, for the Hawks fans. And Trey Young may not be his 100% version of himself, but again, this is a guy that closed out the Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, this has been a sleeper team all playoffs. Nate McMillan, even when he took over this team, they were a subpar 500 uh, team in the regular season. Complete turnaround. Nate McMillan should be a turnaround specialist. That should be his nickname. Hmm. But again, Trey Young, this is all about a pain threshold type of an injury. This injury wasn't a career-ending injury or a season-ending injury. It never was that. It was all about how much pain tolerance can you have? And obviously, the doctors have run all of the tests on Trey. He wants to give it a go. This is a do or die situation for the Atlanta Hawks and good for the Hawks fans and the NBA fans all around the world. As a former NBA coach of the year, Avery, if you're on the sideline, how do you use Trey Young tonight knowing that he's most likely less than 100%? Well, it's one of those situations, Todd, where if you're going to play him, you got to use him and you got to play him. You can't allow him to sit on the bench for long stretches and to get cold and stiff. You want to keep him on the court as much as possible. If you're the Milwaukee Bucks, you want to get him involved as much as you can, especially when he's on the defensive end. Maybe you want to test his three-point shooting ability and his long-range accuracy early in the game. But the main thing is you want to make him work on the defensive end. If he's guarding one of your perimeter players and those perimeter players are not involved in offense and a shot is taken, you want that perimeter player to go to the offensive glass to force Trey Young to box you out, to test that foot, test his stamina. So I think it's a little bit of a chess match on both sides of the ball. Considering how well the others, as you called them last time, played without Giannis Antetokounmpo for the Bucks tonight, how do you expect them to handle Trey tonight? And who do you think the favorite should be? Well, I think the favorite, even before Trey Young announcing that he was going to play tonight, is are the Atlanta Hawks. Because even if Trey's not at his best, they got to get the ball to Lou Williams. Lou Williams is a difference maker in this series. He showed it in game four. You know, you know, 20 plus points, limited turnovers, didn't play as well on the road. But a lot of those role players, Lou Williams, Gallinari, Magdanovich, uh, John Collins, Capella, they tend to play better at home than they do on the road. So, and especially if Trey Young is come, coming back, I think that's going to help them with their emotions. And uh, I think that's going to help build confidence. So I'm, I'm favoring the Atlanta Hawks as I was before the Trey Young announcement in this game. Well, we saw the point spread move from minus two and a half to minus three and a half now that Trey Young is on the floor. You told me that you think the Hawks should be the favorite. Break this matchup down for us tonight. What do you think we're going to see? Well, you're going to see the Atlanta Hawks get off to a fast start. They're going to be fast, furious. We talked about the same thing with uh, the Milwaukee Bucks. This is a true seven-game series, guys. And at the end of the day, um, the Atlanta Hawks, their fans are going to be in a frenzy tonight. Uh, look for them to force more turnovers from the Milwaukee Bucks. They only turned it over eight times uh, in game five. Look for them to turn the ball over a little bit more. I don't know if they're going to allow Brooke Lopez to have that deep post position as he did with his breakout performance. So look for them to make an adjustment there. The series is all about adjustments. I've been here a million times with the Dallas Mavericks when we led them to the finals in 2006. It's all about adjustments. It's all about adaptability. It's all about communication. So look for Nate McMillan to pull all the right strings tonight, especially with the little maestro back, mm -hmm. Trey Young. Final question to you, Avery. Sometimes you can tell the entire outcome of, that, of a basketball game by lead, reading the box score. What does Trey Young's numbers, or what do his numbers need to look like tonight for the Atlanta Hawks to have a chance to win? 
Uh, great question, Todd. I think it needs to be a balance. I think he needs to have about 26 points, you know, 10 to 12 assists. And he's got to be balanced because even early in the series where he scored points, but he didn't have but four assists, they didn't win that game. So he's got to get double-figure assists. So that lets me know that other players are scoring the ball, especially Bagdanovich, because when Bagdanovich struggles, Trey Young doesn't have as many assists. He went three for 16 in the game. Trey Young struggled. So look for uh, Trey Young to have double-figure assists or close to it, 20-plus point, and that's going to be an indication that Atlanta's playing some of their best basketball. Trey Young active for tonight's game 6, 8.30 p.m. tip-off. We'll speak to Avery Johnson at its, at its conclusion. Coach, enjoy the game. We'll talk to you later. Thanks. All right. Teams down 3-2 to two in a best-of-seven series in playoff history. 56% of them lost in six games, 28% lost in seven games. So basically the Hawks have a 16% chance to come back and win this thing, although it might be a little higher now that Trey Young is active for tonight. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.